Yeah, this chorus. Okay, okay. Why the dance to it? What's good, what's poppin'? And welcome to this reaction video. And today is not a k-pop reaction video but a group that i've reacted to before because i personally and thoroughly love these boys ever since they started making music i've been very impressed and always excited to hear what they release next um because i think their music is actually something that i can vibe with and i feel like when they started making music certain people were a little worried how it would go but i think they're killing it and so i'm super excited they have released a new single everyone ladies and gentlemen we are reacting to nsv the north star boys a round of applause i've reacted to nsb on my channel before the last time i reacted to them was their friends music video they have released a new single called kissing booth i've heard teasers of it um pretty much just the chorus but not too much of it so i'm super excited to see what the full song sounds like but i really want them and hope that they release more music videos for their song their last album they dropped the songs on there i think are really really good and i think a lot of them could easily have music videos to them so i kind of hope that that's something that we could potentially see in the near future don't want to chit chat too much i really want to see what the full song sounds like and see how they did the music video so let's hop right into it okay a little kiss and booth <gasps> Reggie's hair is blonde and cut. You at the room. Pretty ladies like to hang out the roof. Okay. And I know you feel it too. Okay, the Korean. This is the teaser I've heard. Their music videos are shot and edited so well. And I know that they, I think only have normally just two people in their media team, so. And then there's like a little calm down. It looks like they all have recolored their hair for this job. Look at your tie. Yeah, this course. A little Hajima. This is so K-pop encoded to me. Like, even kind of how the music video is shot. Okay, Sebastian. He hit that. What? They have a whole dance to it. Okay, so now I have to learn the dance. off of first impressions i don't know if it's just me but that sounded so like k-pop encoded and i feel like 
I don't want to say... <sighs> How do I put this? To me, it just sounded very K-pop encoded. I feel like the way it was structured based off the other songs they've released like friends what's up coachella pretty boy um i don't know you um i'm not dead like all the songs from the last album none of them i feel like sound or are structured like this song and for some reason this song just sounds so k-pop to me and i can't tell you what it is but it just has an essence about it and I also think it doesn't help that they used Korean um, in the chorus and it's like, kiss and booth, kiss and booth, kiss and booth. How'd you mind for I throw you out the room? Like that part, first of all, that part, that's, that go hard. That's a great chorus. But in the beginning when Reggie first came in, I think he said like Tagia was used and there was some other ones. I, I'm definitely gonna watch it again because I need, I wanna focus more on the lyrics and everything of it because I, I was kind of just like watching for the music video and listening to the sound and everything. Um, so I didn't pay full attention to the lyrics except for a few little things that caught my attention. Um, but just off of first listens, it sounds so K-pop encoded to me. And I feel a little bad saying that just because I feel like certain people won't like that comment because they are Asian American group of boys who you know are social media influencers and have started to release music and i don't know if it's something they tried to avoid where it was like let's not you know do the whole like let's kind of be a k-pop group because that's something they often get it's like i've seen them do their omegle videos and everyone's always like oh it's bts or like oh we're all a k-pop group you know so i don't know if that's something they've always tried to avoid and maybe now they're just like you know what fuck it you know i don't know if that's necessarily a thought anywhere and I don't mean it in a bad way just to me the way the song sounds and the way that it's structured to me to me sounds very k-pop encoded so I'm gonna listen to it watch it one more time and then I'm gonna give my full thoughts and analysis and final sayings of the video so let's watch it one more time first of all Reggie's hair is buzzed again and I can't believe he did that I think starting with Reggie and leading it to Oliver is a good combo. I did not know that was Ryan's voice. I would not have known that was Ryan if they didn't have him in the shot. See, and then like how it goes from the opening of that to this sound i don't know the little claps This music video was very well shot and edited. I love songs with claps in them. Kane's verse goes actually really hard in this song. Again, like. I just feel like that's how K-pop songs are structured. They have like a upbeat rap section, verse, whatever, and then the chorus lead up is very calmed down, and then you get the chorus. The chorus is crazy though. The crazy, the chorus goes so hard. They all look really good in the music video though. And then you can't tell me this shot doesn't seem very K-pop encoded with Savachin. Come on, this is so K-pop. He looks good though, and he hits that note. And then there's a dance.
and I love that edit. Okay, Darren. Okay, I think in terms of where I rank it in terms of other NSB songs, this one would probably be in my top five. Cause like the songs that I really love by them that they've released are What's Up, I'm Not Dead, I Don't Know You, Friends. And then I think I'd put Kissing Booth for five, even though that is a hard pick because there's other songs that I really, really do enjoy by them that aren't in my top five. But I think in terms of variety, um, and their songs that would be my top five pick I think kissing booth is a solid song I think in terms of like a number score I'd give it like an 8.5 I think it's really good I just can't get the sound out of my head of it being like k-pop encoded and I think it's hard to say that only because I mean that's how most songs go right you got verse one pre-chorus chorus verse two pre-chorus chorus but I think after listening to k-pop so often and hearing, you know, just pop and hip hop, rap, R&B, like all the songs in that genre, you can hear and tell a slight difference in how I feel like the songs are structured. And so for me, Kissing Booth, the structure of it just sounded very K-pop encoded. And so I'm saying that and I'm saying it not because they're an Asian American group, but because that's just how it sounded and then you looked at the music video how it was shot how it was edited and there are some shots in there that's like i've seen that happen in k-pop you know what i mean so i don't mean it in a bad way i actually think that's pretty dope and pretty cool of them to do that because i feel like no other american artists either can or will do it um just because that's not something that they're used to i think that was pretty dope and pretty cool of them to do whether it was intentional or not but i think kissing booth is a really good song i think they all did very very well i love the very beginning i love the opening of reggie starting off the song that it leads to oliver and follows i think that whole part from the opening to the very first chorus i think is so good it is so solid kane's rap verse is impeccable i feel like some people be sleeping on kane don't sleep on kane like if you've listened to what's up his part goes hard in what's up too so you know what it don't surprise me that kane's verse was that hard and i thoroughly love that part and then i really like the um sebastian's part the bridge is it called the bridge um when he is in that very k-pop-esque shot and he hits those notes i think that is also a really good part overall i i thoroughly enjoy the song i think it's really good so i give it a strong 8.5 not my favorite because my favorite is what's up and nsb if you ever see this please i beg i beg for a music video for what's up i don't care how often i've already heard the song i want a music video because i wrote that song goes so hard but what's up is definitely my favorite song of nsb but kissing booth is a strong running for the it's a strong run for top three spot only because it's such a different sound from the other songs that i've heard and that i like of them so nsb great job can't wait for the next single or album whatever gets dropped next can't wait for it um hopefully we get another album and they'll go on another tour at this point i think i've been to two shows i went to their first tour the saturday nights tour and i went to their second tour which was party never ends and i've done recap videos for both of those so if you want to go check those out please do i worked really hard on those and that took a lot of editing and a lot of time so if you would like to go watch those feel free to do so but yeah hopefully you know we get another album maybe another tour in the future i would love to go see them again and i would love to party with them again because honestly their concerts are a lot of fun i love their concepts of their concerts of the whole pre-party show after party type of thing i think that's so cool because it really allows you to talk with them and like mingle with other people like it really just turns into like a fun night out so hopefully um another tour is in the future and i can go see them again and hear some more music for them so until then nsb i hope you enjoyed this reaction video i hope you guys enjoy this reaction video if you did you can like comment subscribe you can follow all my socials they'll be linked in the description box below do whatever you want to do and i will see you when i see you bye